What's up guys, it's Jay from the Cub Scouts. I have a game called The Room. And what this game is about is something that has scared me for a long time, ever since I was a kid. Uh, demons, exorcisms, uh, anything satanic. Those are, those are the scariest things for me. Uh, I was never really scared of, you know, ghosts, monsters, killers, those kind of horror stories. But anything like that had to do with uh, demonic possessions or anything satanic, you know, Ouija boards or um, being possessed by something unknown. Those were the types of movies that scared the shit out of me. Like, The Exorcism, Exorcism of Emily Rose. That movie was horrible, but that movie scared me because those are the kind of things that scare me. And I think The Room is something like that. But I warn you though, um, they said the beginning is very, very dialogue heavy. So you guys are going to be listening to me talk for a while before we get to the gameplay. Anyway, let's get it started. This is The Room. Occult. I've always had a keen interest in this subject. What lies on the other side of the human world? I wonder. Due to having an interest in the subject, I've tried many rituals that I find on the internet, but of course they never work. And that's the reason why science never approves of the existence of anything supernatural. Anyway, I've always loved reading more and more about the spirit world, ghosts, and whatnot. Thanks to that, I've accumulated a vast knowledge on this subject, but that wasn't enough. I wanted to experience something for real. Something, something, something that was not just fabricated stories, created to fascinate the mind of occult loving people, but something that provided their existence. And who would have known that this silly wish would be coming true? Very soon. Ooh, interesting. And that too would encounter scary enough to send chills down the spine. This is my story. Okay, so I guess this kid likes knowing about the supernatural world or something. Okay, real graphics. Ooh, huh? I'm tired. Attending university lectures continuously for eight hours is tiring for sure. I murmured to myself while walking along the road, watching the dazzling lights of this ever buzzing city. The text is really hard to read, it's like white on kind of a white background. Kinda. It's only been a week since I arrived in this city to attend the university. Previously, I lived in a small town and completed my high school there, so I don't know much about life in cities. Alright, I guess we're just getting familiar with some backstory even though none of us give a fuck. A lot of vehicles pass by while I'm engulfed in my thoughts. I look at my watch. It's 7.19pm. This is bad. I'd better hurry. After walking for a while, I leave behind the main area of the city. I come across the road that I use every day to commute to the university. Usually, this road remains devoid of vehicles most of the time, and I use it because it saves some time to reach my apartment. This road actually looks pretty scary. A sudden gust of chilly wind disrupts my monologue. This is why I hate winters. Winter is really harsh today, I think to myself while chattering the teats. I put my hands in my pocket and my jacket and try to protect myself from the blood freezing chilly wind. I walk for some time thinking about what I'll do after reaching my apartment. Suddenly... That's your cell phone ringtone? The hell? I take my cell phone out of my pocket. Look! Who's calling? It's my mom. She calls me every day to know what I'm doing. Tch, does she still think that I'm a small child who can't take care of himself? If I'm grown up university attending guy. But if I don't pick up, she'll call me again instantly. So it would be better if I picked the phone up. I keep saying the words wrong, but I don't care. <laughs> Hello, mom? How you doing? Hello? Hello? There's no reply. Maybe there's a network problem. Or maybe your mom just doesn't want to talk to you right now. I'll give her a call later on. Right now, I'm feeling very tired. I better hurry. Are you walking home? Just five minutes more to my apartment. Walking alone on this road of evening makes your mind feel at ease. But it's only when you're not tired, as of right now I'm much too tired. And don't mention the stress of studying complex algorithms. I've got a lot of topics to study and I'm sure I'm not going to do any today. Tonight, I want a good deep sleep. Hey, did I mention there are too many stray dogs in this area? Not that I'm scared of them. Teehee! A grown man should never say the words teehee. Finally, I've reached my destination. This huge building standing before me contains my apartment. 
It has got five floors with two apartments on each floor. Thanks for telling me shit I don't care about! My apartment is number seven. I got it for a very cheap price, and the landlord seemed very happy to hand the apartment keys to me. It's so cheap that a student is able to afford it. Most of the material in my apartment were present before I acquired it. When I asked the landlord about it, he generally replied that it's all old materials and I can have them if I want. It's really rare to find such a generous person. The materials that he let me keep contain things like TV, refrigerator, washing machine, and many other things that you aren't going to find in the student's apartment. Talking about the neighbors, I don't know much about them, neither they do about me. Well, I don't have a neighbor on my floor, and the people living on the other floors barely talk to each other. That's probably because they're too busy fucking. They are the type of people who you would call unsociable, so pretty much I live in an unsociable neighborhood. Okay, enough talk, let's get going. Thank you, God! What the hell? Ascending the stairs. Oh, so we even have to know when he's walking up the stairs? Uh, I don't know how I feel about this game so far, but damn it, that hallway looks scary as a motherfucker. Alright, let's unlock it and head inside. That picture of the hallway was actually pretty creepy. Oh, wow, cool. Whoa, did I forget to turn off the lights today? It would be better if I make something to eat. I'm dying of hunger right now. I thought this dude just said he wanted to go to sleep. Now he's hungry? Make up your mind, buddy. One hour later. Sorry, I just had to say that. I'm pretty tired right now. I must call it a day then. But first, let me take a... S turn off the light. I think the environment and electricity bills. Whoa. That was a cool turning off light sound effect. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty cool. Uh, what the hell's going on? Uh, I feel like there's gonna be like a jump scare. Time. 12 a.m. Hello, housekeeping! Who's calling at such a time? I really don't want to get up. Just answer the damn phone! Get up? Yes! I guess I've got to pick up that phone. The sound effects are really good. I like it. Hello, who's this? Hello? Why aren't you saying anything? Mom? Is that you? you? Better answer, Mom, you whore! Just say something! Oh, hung up. What a rat bastard. What's that static noise? What's that, stat what's that static noise? What kind of sick joke is this? I'm hanging up! Yeah. Good. Hang up that phone. That's dead. Like you are later. Uh, let's go to this book and save. Can I run faster? Nah. Save. Alright, cool. Not right now. You can't tell me what to do! I'm you! Whoa. Whoa. That's actually creepy. What the hell? Again? Hello? Who's this? Just say something if you want, else don't call! Yeah, use that slang, else don't call! Just say something! I keep hearing that static noise. It's actually making my nipples hard by how scary it sounds. I'm not gonna lie. Yo! Go to hell, I'm hanging up! No need to use the bathroom now. I'm not in the mood to go out right now. Well, I'm in the mood to save her again right now, because I'm kind of frightened by this. If this guy calls one more time, I'm tracing caller ID. I don't like eating right now. I don't feel like eating right now. What time is it? The clock has stopped working. Oh, fuck. Cell phone ringing. Where's my cell phone? Great! Now my cell phone has started ringing. Yo, that's a shitty ringtone, bro. This time, the caller is mom. Now what does she want with me at this hour? She called me just some hours ago. Hello, mom, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Tell me why did you start fighting with me when I called you this evening? Huh? This evening? You didn't even reply. What? I talked to you straight for 15 minutes. You picked up the phone and started talking nonsense and said don't call me again. Mom, how's that possible? 
No one replied when I picked up your call. Anyway, are you the one who's been calling me on telephone? Telephone? When did you buy it? It belongs to the previous owner. No, I don't know the number to the telephone. I was just calling you on your cell phone, but it just wouldn't connect. It connected only now. Wait, you said you were talking to me for 15 minutes straight, now it only connected now? What? You didn't call the telephone. Uh, huh? Now I remember. The telephone is supposed to be dead, just like always. How come a dead phone started ringing? I'll call you later. Whoa. What the hell is that? What is that, bruh? A cult. I was about to experience the worst terror of my life. Great. Now there's a power outage. Whoa. Whoa, I hear somebody screaming. Uh... Hello? What the hell is this? Why won't the door open? It's locked from outside or is it jammed? Whoa. Whoa there. Okay, let's click on shit. A lot of books on various topics are kept here. Java programming for beginners, data structures, code, the hidden language. The rest of the other books are on topic of occult. Encyclopedia of the occult, blah 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 blah. Alright, Demons Made Easy, The Black Bible, The Grimoire. What the hell's wrong with this guy? This guy is disturbing. They increased my knowledge on the subject, but then none of the ritual ever worked. Maybe I was doing them wrong, who knows? So this guy is trying to spawn like the devil? Dude, you don't mess with things like that, seriously. That's, that's disturbing. I really want to practice my Java skills, but I'm feeling too sleepy. How can you sleep at a time like this? Uh, what do I do? It's like really dark, I can't see anything. I mean, you guys could already see how dark it is. Uh, bed? Go to the bed? No? 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Nothing happened. Is there anything I can do? Like, anything I can click on? Or. Er... The previous occupant left this box here. Let's see what it contains. Stuffed toys, dolls, other kinds of toys. Basically, this box contained toys. They must have thought this was for children, I guess. Take a toy? Sure, because I can't do anything else. Might be useful later on. You obtained a toy. Sex toy? Yeah? No? Yeah? No? 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 Yeah? Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, let me get out of here real quick. Uh, this game is very weird. Uh, I'm not scared yet. I think I am a little bit, but... More kind of just like, what the fuck? Dude, I hate how the text is going so slow. What the hell? Someone programmed that like all weird. Alright, can I get out here now? Door won't open still. Try jumping out the window? Yes. It's not that high, I'll make it. And then I'll call the cops to see what's going on in this apartment. You lift up the window glass panel, and then you take a peek outside. And then, you jump. Ah! I top, I top imagine it sounds like. Oh, there was a splat. Unfortunately, you topple while jumping, and your body turns upside down during the fall. Your head hits the hard concrete, which results in an instant death. What in the world? Bad end. What? Bad end? Damn it! Did I really just continue? Alright, what in the world am I supposed to do? I clicked every single damn thing in this room, and then, oh, I gotta keep clicking on this damn bookshelf and I can't, like, skip it. Okay, 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 look at that. Look how slow this text is going. I know I sound like I'm bitching a lot, because I am. I am bitching a lot. Got a problem with that? Okay, 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 okay. Maybe I was doing them wrong, who knows? Something fell out of the rack. Wait, what? Something fell out of the rack? It's a piece of paper written with some strange language written on it. You pick it up. Whoa, the room shake. Earthquake! Earthquake, make that ass shake. Let's see what happens. Can I get out? Oh, yeah! I can get out, baby! Sorry, I got excited. I, I was doing that for like at least 10 minutes, just walking around in a circle. Save that, motherfucker. Let's see. It's dead! Nothing happened. No need to use the bathroom. Alright, let's go click on every single thing. Not right now. I don't feel like eating right now. What? There's never a time in your life where you should not want to eat. Eating is the best thing in life. Not right now. Not right now. 
Whoa! What is that? Stay in the corner. Hey! Who are you? Can't even move. I can't move. No? Yo. The game just froze on me. Alright, the game froze on me for some reason when I went right here. Yeah. See? There's something right next to me. What is that? Whoa! Whoa! He fucking did the Michael Jackson moonwalk! It all happened so quickly that you couldn't understand anything until you realized that you're on the brink of death. Bad end. What the fuck? Just happened. Why am I talking like that? I don't know why. Well, let's just reload this again. What the hell? Okay, so I'm not gonna go over there. No, no sir. No sir, I am not. It's dead. That no, doesn't do anything. Can't use that. Alright, let's click on every single piece of wall. I know it's hard to see right now, guys. What the hell is this? Hold the door open, it's locked. Can't even escape the apartment. Whoa. Whoa. Something's walking around, buddy. Oh my god, I see something in the corner. It's so dark, I can't see shit, but something's walking towards me. Return back, return back, return back, return back, return back. What do you want? Just go away! Go away! Return back, return back, fuck. What do I do now? Give him the toy, give him the paper. Give him the toy. Maybe a demon wants toys. Take this and get away from me! Help. What? Wait. Did he say help? No, he said help. Help me. He said, please, please help me. Save that. Let's see. It's turned on without any power. It's dead. Nothing happened. No need to use the bathroom. That, I'm not gonna lie, that did freak me out when that guy was walking towards me in the dark. But, I'm alright, I'm alright. Ah, uh, damn it! Why did I click on that again? Be doing the Michael Jackson and then I get the bad end. I'm bad! I'm bad! Let's restart that again. Fuck! Should I have given him the paper instead of the toy? Or nah? My PC is on. How is this even possible when there's no power here? Yeah. It's very strange. Okay, let's see what I got here. Oh, look at that. There's a Mozilla page open. The address of the webpage is not present. The page contains an article. This song is getting me hyped. Okay, let me read it. On 24th of December, 2002, bodies of 13 children and an adult were found in room 7 of a certain apartment. The police considered the perpetrator to be an adult man <laughs> whose body was found along with the children. These children were reported to be missing for 20 December by their parents. The autopsy revealed that the man had a severe case of lung cancer and had only three months to live. Police investigation brought out the fact that the man was probably a Satanist, as different materials that are used in satanic rituals were found from his apartment. Moreover, he supposedly killed the children as a part of satanic ritual, and after that, he hanged himself. Also, boxes filled with various toys were retrieved from his apartment, which was supposed to have been used by him to lure the children into an apartment. Creepy! Police commented that the children belonged to the local neighborhood, and further added that the parents of these children are in great shock after hearing the story. There's also an image in the article. What the hell kind of image is that? What is that? This is bad. Shivering. So messed up. I understand everything now. Everything is now clear to me. Yeah, that makes sense why um the neighborhood is so unsociable. Maybe because they're still in shock that all these kids died, you know? Today is Saturday, 21st of December 2013, and the last time, oh sorry, and the last time 21st of December was Saturday is in 2002, which means this event acted as a trigger for the things I'm experiencing now, but I still can't figure something out. It feels as if something is missing from the picture, something crucial, something I can't think of. What? What is it? What is it, bruh? What are you talking about, bruh? I'm scared. Let's go save, because I'm scared. What's something that was missing? It's dead. Let's click on everything. Click it, click a roo. Let me see the bathroom. Um, I like the concept that, you know, you're in one setting. Not right now. You know, we, we don't need to go to multiple settings. The only thing I could say is this game is dark. I'm not talking about the story. I'm talking about, like, actually it's dark. I can't see shit. But, whatever. I mean... 
beggars can't be choosers. This is a free game. I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far. But I need to do something, but I don't know what I need to do. Maybe I need to go back to the computer. Maybe there's something important that I missed. Wait, what? Something's under the bed. You put your hand under the bed and pull the thing out. Dildo! It's a key. You obtained a key. Alright, let's see what this key does. What do I need a key for? Alright, let's save one more time. I'm really save happy. I like saving. Maybe because, you know, I always die. Can I get out? Can I get out? No, I can't. What is the key for? Nothing happened. No, this is the bathroom. Key, 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 key. What is the key for? Can anybody tell me? No need to use the bathroom. Ah. Uh, what the fuck? The key fits perfectly. Who the hell was that laughing? Don't laugh at me. Laugh at you and your small penis. Inside it, you find a bottle filled with some mysterious liquid. You obtain mysterious liquid. Uh, I hope it's not jizz. Okay, mysterious liquid. What am I gonna do with the mysterious liquid? Uh, let's click on stuff. Because that's how we figure out things in these types of games. Not right now. Let's put the mysterious liquid in the computer. Wait, why? What, what sense does that make? Why would you put mysterious liquid in the computer? It's stupid. God, I am dumb sometimes. Mysterious liquid in the computer, really? Really, Jay? Is, is that what we're gonna do now? What am I gonna do with that? Maybe I can rub it all over my body. Maybe I should try putting the piece of paper that I found earlier on the door. Okay, now what do I do? Oh yes, I must try using the mysterious liquid. You sprinkle some of the liquid on the paper. Nothing happened, I knew it. Suddenly, something starts appearing on the paper. It looks like some kind of text. Beneath the text, there is a cross symbol in two blocks. You read the text. Zarexa Ustoturagto Torenda Kasata Dakun. Wait, wait. There's usually some type of trick. Maybe I can read it backwards. Nukta Otsu. Okay, no, no, fuck that. That doesn't work. And now in the blocks, I have to enter two digits. My occult knowledge is at test right now. So what is the number? Ah. Uh, what the fuck? I don't know, 23? Michael Jordan? I think I have to try again. Um... 12. Fuck. 30. Alright, no, let's not try again. Let's, uh... Let's go to the library, or the bookshelf, and read the books. Maybe something will appear there? Okay, um... Java, data, code... The rest of the books are tops of a cult, encyclopedia. 13! 13! Duh! Golly, bruh! Ugh. Okay, let's go back to the books! 13. 13. 13 deadly sins. 13. Let's go! Bam, bitch! Okay. This place looks normal to me, even the lights are working properly. Okay, let's check for something that may help me escape this nightmare. Alright. Nothing here, everything looks normal so that it feels like something is out of place. Toilet! Need to take a shit ski? No. What's this? 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 Everything's normal. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Bathroom shaking. Bathroom shaking. Everybody hold the fuck up. Bathroom shaking. What? You couldn't believe what was present before your eyes. Who the hell is that? My bathroom, how come there are dead bodies all over? Also, this body, it's hanging. The hanging body suddenly starts swinging back and forth as if some vital force entered inside it. Uh, even in this dreadful situation, you try to compose yourself. But then, the horrific rotten face of the body turns toward you, and then, they move. He's loosely connected jaws. Well done, my boy! You've made this far! Thanks to you, my poor soul will be saved! I've been waiting for this day for 11 years, for the right conditions to meet, ha ha ha! Today is a day when Almighty Satan will bestow his powers on me and make me alive, again! 
This is all thanks to you. Because of your arrival, all the conditions have been met, and now you'll act as the container for my soul. You have got the perfect body to contain my soul. Okay, you got the perfect body, checking him out. Eleven years ago, when I performed this ritual, the subject, who was supposed to contain my soul, escaped by killing me during the ritual. Then he hanged my body to make it look like a suicide. I had taken great pains to kidnap him, but alas, since the time in this apartment became frozen only after your arrival, things started to continue from where they left off. But you know why I'm telling you these things? It's because your memories will soon become my memories. No, they will not. He begins murmuring something. Get the fuck out of here! You try to move your body away from him, but you find that it's been paralyzed by some unseen force. Oh, unholy satanic spirit, I give my soul and unholiness to you. Transfer my soul into this boy's body and take his soul at your feast. Oh, almighty Satan, do the things that were left undone. Bestow your unholy powers upon me. Destroy all the holiness in this world. In the name of all Satan, I'll take the body. No. An unknown force attacks your body. No! I won't let you have my body, my soul, my body. They belong to me. Save game? Yes. What the hell? Oh my god. It turned into like a Pokemon turn-based RPG. Unholy soul emerged. What the hell? Why did it turn into this? Fight, escape? Alright, fight. I have a special? What's my special? The secret mantra? Fuck it! Die, bitch! I'll devour your soul! Oh man, he's beating me up. Man, green gas looking like looking like a huge fart. Attack. Let's attack him. Let's attack him. Took 42 damage. Man, this turn this went from horror story to Final Fantasy real quick. Uh inner power. Is that what is that? No effect? No effect? God man, I have a lot of HP. Alright, let's keep fighting this bitch. Shit! This guy is tough! What the hell? Oh yeah, bitch! Damn, he's gonna whoop me. He's gonna whoop me. I find it so funny how I'm fighting I'm fighting this dude. Yo, this fight team is dragging on and on and on. Kill me, please! Alright, I'm I think I'm fucked. I have 296 health, but I'm, I'm fucked. I'm pretty much fucked at the booty hole. I am fucked in my own booty hole. Die, bitch! Human was defeated. You try your best, but it's impossible to win against unearthly forces. Your body now belongs to the Satanist, and nobody knows what deeds he is going to commit with it. Hello, Mom. I won't be back soon. <laughs> this is the power of Satan! True end. That's the true end? That's the true end? This body feels perfect. Now, it's time for the next ritual. Time to find my new prey. What? That's how it all ends? Wow! If you guys want to try this game out for yourself, you can try to beat that Satan guy if you want to, that green, earthly gas thing. But that's the ending I got, so fuck it. <laughs> I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. This was The Room. It's a free indie horror game, and I'm out.